Hey, I'm Bob. I've been blind since birth and I'm into Power Rangers. If you like the video, share, like, subscribe, hit the notification button. These things help the channel. I'm holding the box set in my hands. We're talking about season one, episode 22 today. This one is The Trouble with Shell Shock and it aired on October 11th in 1993. So the Rangers are playing, I think it's basketball by the sound as the episode opens and squat and babu are spying on them as they're playing and as zach is coming up with this really more phenomenal name for the shot he's about to make rita's sawing logs and squat and babu they deserve the minion of the year award because they're planning to create a monster while she's asleep they're not trying to usurp her throne or anything like that they want to make a monster to surprise her. They want to bring about the total destruction of the rangers while she's asleep so she doesn't have to. Isn't that nice? So they go back up to the moon palace while Rita's asleep. They're worried about waking her up, but uh, I think Squat says something like, well, if her snores don't wake her up, I don't think anything will. So they go into Finster's workshop and they actually make their own monster out of Finster's clay and they get him into the monster mattock all right. They don't overcook or undercook the monster, he pops out just fine. And we have Shellshock, a turtle monster with a traffic light on either his back or his head. I don't know where the traffic lights are, but uh, pretty interesting looking monster, I would say. And yes, Hasbro should make that. He'd be an awesome monster to add to the Lightning Collection, or maybe Super 7 could uh, could tackle Shellshock. He'd have some interesting accessories, like a baseball bat and a baseball no peanut butter and jelly though i guess uh, he has he could have some blast effect pieces a a red lightning piece and a green lightning piece for his stop beam and his go beam and uh well, let's see what else i think he has a hook that he can wield and he has a shell cannon that he can fire so some interesting uh, accessory pieces for a lightning collection or super seven figure there awesome and the rangers finish their game bulk and skull show up try to cause trouble but uh, they wind up making a hot dog vendor mad at them because i think they destroy his cart and so they got to work for him for the next two weeks then the putties show up because squat and babu have, have thought ahead and they're going to try to soften the rangers up with putties of course the the putties lose and i think the I think the two minions have a good cry for a few seconds, but then they send shell shock and things get real. The rangers have to morph. Trini is hit by the monster's go beam. I guess it's like getting a big surge of Red Bull because she can't stop moving. And he manages to freeze Kimberly and Billy with his stop beam. I think Jason evades the beam, so he's still in play. Zordon tells Trini that she's going to have to go find the deandra flowers and they're on the mountain of hope so we get to see a new location in power rangers lore today i think it's the only time we see the mountain of hope but interesting name it reminds me of something from teddy ruxpin i don't know so yeah rita wakes up and she is impressed with squat and babu goldar can't stomach it i mean here is rita's top general and he is being upstaged by these little goons he keeps saying no 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 over and over again because he is just not taking this well at all i don't think he planned this to happen and he is just embarrassed that you know he couldn't come up with a plan like that i guess but we still love you goldar you're, you're you'll always be number one in in my book big guy don't worry so Rita makes shell shock grow and Jason is the only one who can go and do battle with him and his Tyrannosaurus. Trini's off looking for the Deandra flowers. The saber tooth tiger is sent to help her. She manages to find the flowers. Tommy's at karate practice at the moment, so he's not able to help just yet. So yeah, the spell is broken by the Deandra flowers. Kimberly and Billy are back to normal. Trini's stopped you know moving sporadically i guess no more red bull in her system and tommy is summoned to to aid jason he uh, morphs and he calls on the dragon sword they they uh they fire a, a, a lot of missiles at shell shock a big missile barrage there and then tyrannosaurus uses his fire attack and no more shell shock so poor squat and babu they they failed, but you got to give them credit for trying. They, uh, to me, they're far better than the minions from Despicable Me. They, they almost 
almost managed to pull this one off. So way to go, guys. Way to go. And Hasbro, you guys should totally make a Squat and Babu two-pack in the Lightning Collection, too. These guys, they they deserve a lot of TLC. They, they, they really tried hard. You got to give it to them. So the episode ends with the Rangers, you know, playing more basketball. So that will do for the trouble with Shell Shock. And next time we'll be taking a look or a listen or whatever at uh, Itsy Bitsy Spider. And if any of you guys have arachnophobia, we'll get through it together. It's, it's not, not going to be that bad. It's a kid's show after all. So I will hear you guys in the next video. Have a good day.